Hello and welcome to uh, this tutorial where I will show you how to, um, this is the second part where I will show you how to make Space Invaders. So I've made some changes. Uh, so first I created an actual decent barricade. How this took a while, so I'll just make one. Um, you obviously don't want to see me make one. So I also created an enemy sprite for this episode. So it's just an enemy. Uh, it's pretty ugly. Has tentacles, all that stuff. It's an ugly sprite. So I created an OBJ explode object. It had the. It said, um, it's o. Let's see here. Uh, it, in it is a uh, alarm countdown set, and it's alarm zero. So it's right that one right there for thirty mil for thirty. So that's half of. That's half a second because 60 game frames per second, so that's 30 game frames. So technically half a second. The dog is whining. The dog is whining. So, um, okay, so, and then when the alarm zero is reached, it gets destroyed. Now, when OBJ bullet, when it gets destroyed, it creates the explode. And when OBJ barricade, when it touches the explode, it gets destroyed. So I just duplicate uh the obj what it happened when it touched the obj bolt so that's the current that's how currently how the how it is so and then um i also create a path uh it's called just path I'll, i'm gonna call it path enemy and uh, this is path like a bit to make so i will actually um leave a link to where you so where you can actually download the file for this path and put it in your own project so um so we're just gonna use that and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object with for the enemy so obj enemy so we're gonna use the enemy sprite that we had so um, the enemy, and when it gets created, it's going to start following that path, path enemy, uh, with the speed of 0 0.2, and on end, path, um, action, uh, loop, so that means it just continues, um, and we're gonna add another event, so it's, it's is in the other I think. It's when path ended. It's a not very common event, but when the path is ended, we're going to go down here. We're gonna to go to paths. Uh, we're gonna set the path fo follow speed to zero point one and relative. So that's a relative. So that's adding zero point one to the path follow speed. So that's similar to Space Invaders where they go down faster and faster and faster and faster. So um, that's one thing. So that's pretty good. So now we're just going to place these in the room. So just hold alt for, to, to kind of almost paint with them. We're just going to create a little row of them right here. Boom, 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 boop, boom, 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 boom. Look at that ugly row. It looks terrible. So now we're just going to run the game, and we're going to see how these look. So as you can see, they move. They move kind of across, and they stop. They go down. Of course, we cannot... Uh, shoot them or kill them so we're going to change that so when an obj enemy when it is in collision with will be a bullet it will get deleted and we can assume the same for uh the explode it will also get deleted that may be a chance to kill two at once I don't know, just me a bit better than the original Space Invaders, but obviously it can't. You can't beat a classic. So, 
so here we have, um, so here they are now, so let's run the game, and you will now be able to, uh, kill them if you can. This is terribly frustrating. Now, one thing I did notice, the bullet kept on going on and on, so we want to, when the bullet touches the enemy, when the bullet touches the enemy, bullet touches the enemy, it will get, um, when the bullet touches the enemy, it will get, wait, no, no, that's, that's it, I'm an idiot, uh, when it's collided with the enemy, it gets deleted, and of course we're gonna delete this foolish event, okay, so, here we go, so, uh, just go ahead and run it, I know, so, now I'm just gonna run it, and you'll see if my aim is good enough, yay, that worked, so, and now there's actually an explosion, so, there we go, and they do it slow enough, now one thing I do know, they won't, they're not shooting, so we're going to create an, a duplicate of the bullet. A duplicate of the bullet. We're going to call it OBJ bullet enemy. So it will be the enemy's bullet. And we're really just going to edit some code in it. So create when it gets created. It's going to... What the heck, dog? Okay. Um, it... Instead, it will be going down instead of up, so that's speed pot. It'll go vertical speed positive five, not negative. When it gets destroyed, it will not create an explode. It actually will create an enemy explode. We'll create that later. When it touches the OB barricade, it will get destroyed. Of course, when it touches the enemy, it will not get destroyed, so we're just going to change the, the event. When it gets collided with the player, it will get destroyed. And that's the same thing. So we're going to create a duplicate for the OBJ Explode. Duplicate. OBJ Explode. Enemy. For the enemy. That looks amazingly terrible. Um, it will be very similar. It will actually be extremely similar. Actually, why did I even do that? That would that's in, that's okay. That's entirely unnecessary. That this should work well. Whoops, I forgot one last thing. So we're gonna create a variable. It will be a variable called shoot, and it will be assigned to one. And we're going to do step event. Um, we're going to go got down to the random section for randomization. Where is it? Okay. So we're going to get random number. We're going to do an integer type. Minimum zero. Maximum uh, like 300. And it'll be the target is shoot and this is a step so it happens all every single game frame which is basically forever if um shoot is equal to zero then it will create a instance of the enemy bullet so that's what will be it so let us run our game and see how it works. So now we see that, th that they get destroyed. However, one thing I do notice is that um, the bullets actually don't do anything. So on the, the explosions only slightly gnaw away at things. So we want the barricade that when it touches, we're going to duplicate that. When it collides with the enemy bullet, it also explodes. 
and we're actually going to create a separate um, bullet sprite for the enemy, and I'll explain why. And you see, it's going the opposite direction, so it gets destroyed. So, um, it when it gets destroyed, the the um explosion is created right here where it cannot um where it cannot penetrate because it's going down instead of up now if we, if we make the bullet enemy if we make the origin where it gets created down then that will work so set the oj bullet enemy set the sprite to the bullet enemy sprite okay now let us see how things are going Now things are terrible and chaotic, and the world has come to an end. So, with my terrible aiming skills, humanity is doomed. Now, I must admit that it is a bit hard. So, I'm going to, um... It's hard to shoot the enemies, so I will try to create... I'll increase the size of the enemy, so... Go to SBR Enemy. And set it to 24 pixels by 24. It'll automatically do that. And it, it, it'll be a bit warped. So we can just revise some of that. To make things better. Because things never go quite smoothly. When this happens. Um, now it actually looks a bit more varied though. So I actually like it uh, now. Um, and I'm considering whether the... Increase the collision mask, but who knows. So, now let us try. Now they are bigger and easier to shoot at. So now you can actually guarantee yourself. However, these things have a very high rapid uh, fire. Now, one last thing. The, uh, what happens when, they, when the player gets shot? Well, for now, we're just going to... We'll cover, we'll cover ending the game and lives in the next episode. But for now, when it gets, when it's collided with the bullet enemy, it says it will just, the room will restart. So that means everything in it, basically the game itself will restart. So restart room. Um, so, let's see here. I'll just give myself a shot. So there we go. That is um, the current state of the game. Next time, um, you will actually make it so that once they reach the bottom, they will um, the game. What you will get a game over. So we will add a menu, a proper game over, and we'll just make things overall better. So and lives. So um, that will be next time. So uh, see ya.